I'm John Duncan, I'm a okay. 12th generation Charlestonian, but have lived in Savannah since 1965, where I taught at Armstrong for 32 years in the history department. My favorite copies are the actual chapters that John wrote and sent to us as he was writing them. And then I have um, many editions uh, of the, the book. The, the proof, for example, um, that says proof on every page, and the first edition, which came out in January of 1994, and uh, the first edition sold for $23. Now it sells for 26 although Random House and John Barron have made a bloody fortune, it seems to me, they didn't need to go up. But anyway, the reason uh, the first printing of the first edition is significant is that it has a typo on page 11, and it talks about uh, a club members drinking Madeira. Instead of saying for Madeira, it says FMR Madeira. So it's a typo, and that makes it significant. And there were only, I think, 30,000 copies of uh, Midnight. You know, the first book of any author is very small numbers. Uh, Pat Conroy, for example, his last book, they published a million copies. It'll never be valuable. But Midnight, only 30, or the first printing, only 30,000 copies. So that makes it uh, a little valuable. Uh, other favorite editions are the Swedish edition. And it has a picture of Jim Williams hanging out his Nazi flag. Now what had happened was, let's see, I think it was The Strange Case of Dr. Mudd, a Civil War era uh, movie that was filmed in Savannah. And Jim uh, thought that uh, the movie company should uh, contribute $500 to the local Humane Society. And when that was not forthcoming, he went upstairs and got a uh, captured Nazi flag, hung it out, created a time warp for the movie on Monterey Square, and of course stopped the filming. Now the bad news was, directly across the square, uh, Mikveh Israel Synagogue, and understandably, there were letters to the editor for months on end. Months on end. Uh, we have the smallest edition of Midnight, tiny, and uh, special editions, and about close to 40 foreign editions. Uh, two Chinese editions, one for mainland China and one for Taiwan, I think it was. So it's been quite successful. So I became friends with John when he was writing the book. In fact, he knocked on every door on Monterey Square and interviewed everybody. And uh, he interviewed me and we became friends, not close friends, but we have since become close friends. And uh, he's been kind enough to, uh, to send copies. Um, here's the movie edition of Midnight with a picture of Kevin Spacey and Clint Eastwood. You know, the Midnight was on the uh, bestseller list of the New York Times for four years, two months. But it never was number one until Clint Eastwood came to town and a lot of media came to town and really exposed Savannah to the world, really. And uh, it became number one on the New York Times bestseller list. You know, I was clever enough, and I'm not sure how I knew to do that, but to, um, when the first printing came out, I put a box uh, they were selling them then with 24 in a box. And I put uh, a whole box away, and, and I think I have four left. And uh, I sell them now for $400, which is very cheap considering on the internet they run up to $600 on the internet. But mine are absolutely pristine and signed by John and uh, dated. You know, I want to give these to some institution that is willing to uh, show them. Uh, I don't want them just to go on to uh, the basement of a library, but uh, any institution that would be willing to uh, accept them and display them. So I'm going to hold out until I find just the right person.